We are here with uh, Charles Kadovilis after the Kenya Cup final. Uh, how is the game for you? Well, um, it's not uh, not easy to lose. Uh, very painful, obviously. But at the same time, um, I'm very proud of the boys. Uh, they really put their bodies on the line. You know, all um, 22 of them, 23 of them who played, really put their bodies on the line today. And um, I must, um, I can't fault them for for not trying. Uh, it's just a matter of um, just one or two lapses in execution, decision making, both in the first half and the second half, that really cost us. And once or twice, our defence just went to sleep. So. Um, uh, I mean, you know, that would be the difference in a final. And uh, that was the difference, I guess, with the five points. Um, I know KCB are feeling it there. We really gave them a hard game. But I must say congratulations to them. You know, they were able to hold and, um, and, and they won. They are deserved winners, gone undefeated. So congratulations to KCB. But at the same time, I'd really like to congratulate my boys and, um, and give them a pat on the back for, for doing a very good job and really working hard, hard out there. And uh, any boxes that uh, Kad, uh, Kadovil is you as a person that you might want to take going forward? For me, <clears throat> um, obviously, is to get this team to win Kenya Cup. Um, that's that's what we want to do. Um, it's about putting trophies on the on the on the table. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how well you play. Um, for me, it's I'm, I'm I'm really I'm really I become really strong on myself and really harsh on myself, and I ask myself some really hard questions. So, for me, it's about putting trophies on the table. You, you can play well, and that and then that that that's it. You know, and if um, you know. <laughs> The good Kenyan fan, when they're watching this, will understand. Arsenal play very good football, but <laughs> have no trophies on the table. So that's, you know, that's 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 what it's all about. It's about trophies on the table. So I'm going to ask myself some really hard questions and um, how we can tighten it up. Uh, but we have ticked a lot of boxes this season. Um, we've improved the defence. We've improved the attack. You know, if you look at the numbers, we're actually the best attacking team uh, throughout the season. Yeah, so it's just about being able to tighten up a few screws and, and being able to put those numbers into when it, when it actually matters, you know. Uh, again, we ticked boxes in terms of we've lost fewer games than last season. Um, we were able to lose in the regular season, we only lost two as compared to five last season. So again, that's improvement. Um, so it's, it's and we've, we've really improved the mentality. So that's a good another box to tick. But the final one, obviously, is just to start putting the trophies on the table. You know, you can tick all the boxes, and if there's no trophies on the table, then we're we're not really doing anything. So that's that's one one box, one big box that we really need to tick, and that's the one that um, we will work towards. And uh, on the cards, we have uh, the Nakuru Tens uh, Enterprise coming, and uh, also the, we also have the Sevens. Also, uh, also guys are also building up for it. Uh, what's also your key focus for the shorter versions of the game? Well, for the tens uh, next weekend, we want to take uh, we'll take a squad where we feel players who've not really had a lot of game time throughout the season, um, and and then also reward some of the younger players who've been with us and and have put their bodies on the line, you know, just to give them some game time and test themselves, and also test them in competition phase, you know. Um, so we'll give some of the sort of big boys a rest and take in some of the younger guys, let them go out there and enjoy themselves. And uh, I know we have the talent and the capability to win it, so that that. That, that, that's our plan for the tens. For the enterprise, obviously, then we want to come and win it. You know, we we got to the final last year, uh, so we are trying to get uh, one better. So um, it'll be about taking some lessons from this Kenya Cup season and the teams we've played. You know, enterprise will be three games, so it's again is to target those three games like the way we did the playoffs, and then uh, put a trophy on the table. If we can get um, enterprise on the on the on the shelf, it'll be a fantastic uh, season. You know, so so first season, so to speak. And then uh, for the sevens, you know, we are defending champions and everyone will be looking at us. So um, that will be a uh, work in progress. We've already started um, uh, planning around that. Um, we believe we'll have a stronger squad than even uh, last season. So so that's something we want to do. And uh, as defending champions, you know, everyone wants to come at you. Everyone is watching you. Everyone is more cautious about you. But uh, it's all in planning phase. We need to analyze where we are, how we can tackle teams and how we can go out and win championships and put more trophies on the boys' tables. That's what I'm here to do. And uh, the last word for the fans, uh, what's, uh, what's, really, uh, what's the last, just the last word for the fans? 
Cabras fans are like no other. You know, they they travel kilometers and miles and every weekend to to support the team, and it's been a, a fantastic season so far um, with them uh, pushing and supporting and coming all over and and following us around the country. You know, like the seventh circuit was amazing. They were in Mombasa, they were in Kisumu. Maybe you say that's easy, but they were in Mombasa, Nairobi twice, in Nakuru, they were in Eldoret. So it was it's massive. Today they've come here in their droves. There's close to 500 of them. And, and, and really pushing. So um, it's kudos to them. There's no fans in this country who actually travel the way they do and to follow the team. So um, I, I, it's a big thank you on behalf of the technical and on behalf of the players to the fans. Uh, we continue, your continued support is always welcome. We keep it positive, we keep going, and uh, together we build the club. It's a young club. We need to build it together, you know, all facets, from the playing unit to the technical, to the management, to the fan base. It all needs to grow together so that we can create a force in Kenya rugby. Cheers and thanks for talking with us. Thanks a lot. Cheers, man. Thanks.